Hey guys, welcome to Claydesk or welcome back to Claydesk, your number one e-learning channel. I'm going to be talking about why you should not be using AWS Dumps, right? So there are a few questions that I get asked repeatedly. First, are AWS exam questions from the exam itself, right? Where can you actually get the exam dumps? So if you learn the answers or if I learn the answers to the questions, will I pass the exam? So let me share my thoughts on AWS dumps and why you should avoid them and possibly even change your attitude towards learning and achievement. So what are the AWS exam dumps in the first place? So let's first explore what I mean by dumps in themselves, right? So the context here on the AWS certification, but this applies to many other certifications as well. Now, originally, these were called brain dumps, right? And been around for as long as IT certifications have been in existence, right? Now, basically, someone either finds a way to copy the AWS exam questions and answers from the real exam or simply memorizes them to the best of their you know, knowledge. Now, these questions and answers then get published on the internet usually with the correct answer identified and sometimes with an explanation and references as well. Now, there are many sites on the internet that provide exam question dumps and then of course quite a few companies sell them as PDF or offer practice test software. Now, I'm not going to list any of those sources. You can search them yourself and I don't want to encourage anyone to use these resources for reasons I'm about to explain, so make sure you watch till the end. Now, the problem with AWS dumps is as, you know, follows, because what's wrong with using dumps? Now, surely it's a great way to ensure success in the exam, right? That kind of makes sense. Now, my first issue with dumps is that they're totally unnecessary. Now, many years ago, I've been doing IT for a little over 20 plus years. And of course, it was quite difficult to find practice questions that were similar to the real exam questions. In those back in those days so even if you use lots of studied resources and worked hard to prepare for the exam you might be surprised on the day when you actually sit and look at the actual questions style to be different than what you were expecting now this has changed today so for many certifications now including AWS certifications they provide you the practice questions that are extremely similar to the real exam at affordable prices or even free, right? So, for instance, the exams that I took for AWS, whether it's the Cloud Practitioner, whether it's the Solutions Architect and the other seven certifications, once you take one, you understand the format, it actually applies to all of the other exams, right? So the goal here is to increase your knowledge, do hands-on exercises, understand the concepts, and of course, how to apply those concepts. Once you have those understanding and expertise or skills, then it's easier to look at the format of the exams and then be able to pass them as well. Now, you can find high quality training material for free on the internet or even pay for them. Um, there are several good courses that are out there. For example, you can get a list at our blog at blog.claydesk.com or you can go to claydesk.com and take you know, tons and tons of courses, or right here at YouTube, guys, of course, it's all free. We have also free full courses, hands-on courses that you can actually take if you are willing to spend the time, and that's the key. So the AWS exams change all the time as well. So if you look at these dump sites, they're not going to give you the, you know, the most current version. So there are variations, slight variations. So you absolutely need to know the subject matter if you really would like to pass the exam. Now, the main reason to get a certification is to actually get a job for yourself, right? Or get a promotion. Now with AWS certification, you're going into an extremely competitive profession and you really need to be able to demonstrate a strong skill set to get hired or move within your company. So AWS certifications, for example, are designed to test practical experiences as well as knowledge. So if you don't really earn your certification through hard work and experience, you'll be at a disadvantage in the job market because you'll be sitting in front of the server and you don't know what to do, right? So it is best to avoid the AWS certification dumps and actually learn the material and learn the, you know, obtain the skill. 
So another piece of feedback I sometimes get from students is that you know these practice exams are difficult to understand, follow than the actual exam perhaps, right? So even if they pass the exam, they put in too much effort, uh, you know, in the exam. But I think that's a little bit, you know, a wrong way to look at it, right? Personally, the last thing I want is just to scrape through your, you know, exam content or your practice questions. So for example, if I turn up in the exam and I have over-prepared, it's actually good. I mean, it's, it's not going to hurt you, right? Because everything that you've learned, you're actually be using one way or the other. Trust me, guys. You know, with all this experience, from one job to the other, with running your own business, for example, as managed DevOps services, you actually, do, there's no such thing as, oh, this is something that I don't want to look at, right? Because it will eventually, you know, come up one way or the other. So you're going up against a lot of people who are prepared to work extremely hard and try and be the best they can be, right? It's a competitive job market. Now, to be successful, you need to adopt this mindset if you're going to have a chance in, you know, to flourish within your career. Now, the AWS practice exams that you actually take and look at the format and how they're designed and the scenarios, kind of make sure that you actually go through those scenarios and try to implement those scenarios using the AWS free tier account and using hands-on exercises or follow these courses and labs, right? Once you have that, you don't need to worry about using any of these dumps. So, let me give you a list of few resources. So video course is, you know, is the best place to start. And of course, we have those courses at claydesk.com or right here on YouTube, free courses. You can take a look at them. They're all hands-on. So you actually just have to go and go through the content. It's a seven hour course. Yes. Allocate the time every single day and then just go through the steps, right? So the training should include hands-on labs. Make sure you, the course that you choose includes discussion, theory, and practical example for each of the AWS services with the topics. So many courses have uh, little hands-on. So this is not a, a good teaching technique for memory retention. So you need to be able to do hands-on, right? That's the best way to learn because practice, practice, practice. That's how it is. And our courses includes nothing but hands-on. So 90% hands-on followed by, of course, we, you know, we talk about a theory concept and then we actually do the application. So that's how it works, right? And many of our students have actually passed and gotten certified. So check out all those comments right here on our uh, you know, courses. So to prepare for the real AWS real exam questions, it's better to look at the practice questions and practice tests that are similar to the real exam in style and difficulty that have solid explanation as well with reference links so you can understand the correct and incorrect choices. So at our blog, for example, you're gonna find all these resources and I'll provide a link down below. You can just simply navigate there and download those free resources. Another important area is training notes. So reading is a great way to learn and revise prior to the exam, right? So the exam specific cheat sheets, for example, that are on our blog on claydesk.com, these are great ways to get to the facts that you need to know for the exam without going through all the superfluous information on the AWS website or all these other sites on the internet. So to summarize, there are lots of reasons why you should avoid AWS Cloud Practitioner Exam questions or AWS Solutions Architect Associate Exam questions or any other certifications that are available on the internet sites, along with all other AWS exam dumps. So if you want to get ahead in the competitive AWS job market, you need to know the technology well enough to easily pass your exam. So with so many amazing resources out there at such an inex inexpensive prices or even free, it makes sense to do it properly and end up really deserving the AWS certification you achieve. So we know that using dumps is not a good idea, right? But learning, understanding, app applying your concepts and be able to really grasp the conceptual understanding as well as the hands-on is the key to not only passing the certification, but post passing your certification that you can sit on your job and apply all what you have learned. Hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions, post in the comments down below. My name is Syed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.